Hey guys, welcome to episode number 21 of the Reseller Stew. Today we are going to be talking about dealing with uh, distractions. So things like um, summer's coming up, people's kids are going to be out of school or maybe dealing with uh, unexpected illnesses or vacations, visitors, things like that and just kind of how, how do you manage your business when, like I have visitors that are coming for three weeks in the summer um, and you know just kind of things like that. How do you keep your business afloat whenever things aren't normal? <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody doing this week? Great. Good. Good. So um, Anything up? Anything going on? Anything fantastic? <laughs> You're like, yeah. the same, same old, same old. <laughs> well, I guess that's good sometimes. Like, I kind of prefer the same old, same old over the unexpected all the time. So, right. trust me, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've had, I'm giving you fair warning, I've had entirely too much coffee today. I'm on like, <laughs> cup number four and my cups are like this size cups oh my goodness so yeah um, yeah um, but I have exciting news Chad and Kim Chad Pagel Golden Finger Picker and Kim the Florida Picking Queen are gonna be in Austin on Thursday and we are gonna be hanging out going thrifting in Austin so all day. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I keep saying like, I'm super excited. I'm super excited. Like I think I've said that a thousand <laughs> times. I'm I'm way excited. And then we're gonna go Thursday night, since it's Cinco de Mayo, uh, the Selena tribute band called uh, Bitty Bitty Banda, who's here in Austin, is gonna be playing a concert that night. So we're gonna go to the tribute concert. So that I'm, sounds like such a fun day. You've got to make a video of all of it. I know. I'm, I'm going to take, like, um, I have some extra phones, and so I'm going to, like, take them and then, like, my little battery backups, so that way I can have my one main phone to do research and then have, like, the extras for, like, actually using to shoot video. So yes. I'm stoked. Like, I'm super stoked. Yes, I especially want to see the cover band. I think that would be really cool. Yeah, yeah. They're um, actually, I mean, they're uh, not just like a cover band. Like, they're a, like the actual like tribute band. Like, they, okay. Yeah, so they, they're very kind of authentic as far as like uh, vocals and stuff like that. So, yeah. I'm, What's the name of the band? I want to look them up. It's called Bitty Bitty Banda. That is such a cute name. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so that's coming up on Thursday, and hopefully I'll, um, I don't normally do periscopes, but I will uh, try to do periscope that day, so that should be fun. Yeah, and you know if you periscope, if you film at landscape, you can actually include it in your video footage, too. Okay. Like if you make a video for YouTube. Okay, all right, I will keep that in mind. I will definitely, definitely do that. Um... Yeah, so that's the exciting thing I have going on this week. So but, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's dope. Um, and then Saturday I've got to go to Houston, um, which I was hoping if you're not busy, Tanya, that I can meet up with you on Saturday. I don't know what you're doing, but what time are you going to be around? Uh, any time between afternoon and through the evening like all the way up to because my daughter's getting dropped off at her friends doesn't live far from um, where the concert is for Beyonce okay. yeah and so they're just gonna walk over okay. to the concert so I'm gonna drop her off at her friends and then I'm just gonna be in Houston okay and, yeah uh, my yeah. Uh, little girl has a um, a recital at noon in Pasadena but um, that shouldn't take all day yeah, so I'll be, I mean, I'll be there in the afternoon time. It won't, yeah. be, early. It won't be early. That would be exciting, too. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been to Houston since 2002. We'll go thrifting. I want to go thrifting in Houston. <laughs> I do. <laughs> like, I got to make sure I got my money together because there's going to be some thrifting going on. I need to clear out my trunk and right. I'm be prepared. <laughs> so, um, So, did anybody go shopping in the last week? Maybe. Maybe. I did. <laughs> <laughs> did you pick up anything good? Well, actually, last week I got this, um, I don't know, can you see it? It's like a, 
Is the Crown Trafari vintage like brooch? Oh, I thought that was a letter letter opener. I know it's huge. I bet you it's like four inches long. I would stab myself in the stomach, like oh. when I bent over. I was looking at the uh, the gems on it, and I don't think they're original. Where's the camera? Oh, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> See, like they look like somebody glued them on. Are they like they they modified it? I think that they did. I'm so disappointed. I spent ten dollars on it because I've sold something similar to this before, and I got a you know a really good price for it. So I thought. This is this one's double the size of the other one, so I thought I get at least a hundred. Do you think that they know. made that out of a letter opener? It's just really big. I don't know. Probably. Well, it's kind of it's got these. Oh, I keep forgetting where the camera. Is. It's got these ridges here, so I don't think so. I think if it was a letter opener, it would be more straight, don't you think? I don't know. Yeah. It looks awful big. To let me see. And I've, you know, done some research. Scallop, like scallop edge, I guess. Let's see, it has the pin on the back. Can you see it? The Where you can pin it on your shirt or your blouse? Yeah, but you can add those, you know, like. I don't know. It looks pretty original. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. oh, it does. It does look pretty original. But I haven't well, found one like it on eBay or uh, Google Images. I would go ahead and list it anyway, even if it has been, like, the stones have been added on. Yeah, maybe I'll just mention that I think it might have been modified. You uh, could just somehow. say, like, you could actually, like, dress it up, like, dress up your words and say, like, oh, it's been, you know. Embellished. Exactly. <laughs> you know, instead of downplaying it, like, oh, it was modified and not original. Like, yeah. instead, of, yeah, it kind of. Okay, great tip. Thanks. <laughs> what about you, Robin? Um, I, I went yard selling. Did you go pop some tags? <laughs> no, I don't think I did much shopping at all really last week. I've just been staying home, um, getting some listings put up, kind of just taking it easy. <laughs> How is your, um, I know that you have been trying to meet a certain, like, listing goal every day. How's that going? Um, sometimes I make it and sometimes I don't. I haven't made it yet today. I've um, listed more than half what I want to list. So, so. And what's your goal a day? 10? It's 15. Oh, see, that's okay. a lot, though. 15. That's, a lot. Okay. that's really good. How, how many things are you up to in your store? Well, I get up to... I. I get up there and then I sell a bunch of stuff. <laughs> that's always a, you know, that's one thing I used to see people comment about and they're like, oh, I've been trying to get 500 things in my store, but I keep selling stuff. Yeah, and they're like, they get mad about it. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, not complaining at all. But <laughs> I'm like, 215 items right now, I think. That's not including the eight I put up this morning, so. That's great, though. Is, I, I mean, guess, yeah. as long as you're selling, I mean, shoot. Mm -hmm. That's why I've been like really struggling lately because I feel like I have too much stuff in my store. Um, I never wanted to have a big store. To me, if I had a big store, it just meant I had a bunch of stuff laying around. Right. You know. Um, and so I'm I'm up to like 440 things, and I'm like, that's 200 things too many to me. Yeah. And so yesterday I started a sale on all of my stuff that was 12.95 to 24.95. I basically discounted them accordingly. It was anywhere from 23% to like 60%, where it got them all down to about $10 plus shipping. Yeah. After the discount, and then then just this morning I put everything else that was $30 to $300. I put it 40% off, and I'm like, move. This stuff needs to move. Right. <laughs> you know, like. And people commented on my post because I was like, you know, these smalls need to go. And they're like, well, smalls are my bread and butter. And I'm like, yeah, they're nice and all, but when 75% of your store is smalls, I mean, that's to me, that's that's too much for me. Like, Have you ever thought about selling jewelry, Deb? No, I don't, and I don't know anything about it. And so I just leave it, a, a, I've left that alone. That's one of, that's one of the cookies I don't touch. Yeah. <laughs> That's good smalls, you know, to have in your store because it doesn't take a lot of room to store them. 
Like, I can have a whole box of stuff, and it's not going to take up any room. Well, parts don't take up a lot of room either. You know, if yeah. you really think about it, like, okay, I have these keys in art parts, and this is, you know, five, five parts. Yeah. I mean, it takes up, you know very small amount of space. Right. Um, so they don't, and I put, I just store parts like in a drawer, in drawers like those um, Sterilite drawers. Mm -hmm. And I'll just, I have them labeled, you know, drawer one, drawer two, and then in my custom label field I'll put, you know, what drawer they're in. They don't take up a lot of room at all. Yeah, that's um, good. I mean, in those drawers I could probably store, and they're the little ones too, like they're the small, um, they're probably 10 inches, 11, 12 inches across, short, you know, three drawers. I could probably store 30 pieces in a drawer. Yeah, that's a lot. You know, yeah, so they don't take up a lot of room. But I want to, we went to the wiener dog, <laughs> we went to the wiener dog races <laughs> the weekend before last, and I won a, um, a silent auction raffle for this like health basket and it had like trail mix and uh, a towel and like a blender bottle and how fun it, yeah and it had a six month membership to Gold's Gym nice. and I didn't even think about it I have a membership to the YMCA like what do I need a membership to Gold's Gym for <laughs> um, but it also had this the spark oh yeah Advocare yeah and I had no idea how expensive this it's expensive. stuff is. Expensive, yes. You can so sell that. <laughs> I did. I, I just oh, good. <laughs> well, I didn't sell it yet, but I just listed it like less than an hour ago uh, for forty five dollars. Yeah. And I spent fifty two dollars on the silent auction thing, so Oh well that's good. Yeah. I'll sell it. I was gonna use it because I wanted to try it. I hear people talk about it and then I'm like $45. Hey. <laughs> going on the eBay. <laughs> I was like, I'll take a five-hour energy. Go on about my day. Um, so, uh, Robin, did you have any any good, like, pickups? You said you didn't really go shopping very much? No, I didn't shop very much last week. Um, you always have had some good brand to give us. You don't got any good brands this week? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. You have an assignment for the week. You have to go out and find us a brand to talk about next season. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I right. sold uh, two things I talked about last week, though. Really? Maybe Which ones? Maybe I talked about those boots the week before last. The boots that I bought at the Goodwill Outlet. The mm, refresh our memories. The L U C H E, the Lucchese. Oh, Lucchese? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much did you sell them for? Um, I think $76 or something. That's great. Yeah. I'm happy about that. And then I sold those ATL shoes, too. The ones you talked about last week that we didn't know anything yeah. about. Yeah. I sold Would those you? for 50 bucks, I think. That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> I was happy about that. That sells. Awesome. Um, what about you, Tanya? Did you pick up anything other than your thing? Did you pick up any like woohoo item? No, I went to a church garage sale uh, first thing Saturday oh. morning, and I I got some good books and uh, media oh. and stuff like that, some DVDs. I did find something pretty cool. Hold on. Do you guys remember these? Tamaguchis? Yes, I got two of them at the bins. Oh, wow! So I think I might sell them for $30 a piece. What did I pay? Like a dime or something? Is that the going rate on them now? Like I know some people have sold them for a good amount of money, but I know when things go up on Bolo List, then they, the price goes down. Yeah, they're about $30, I think. Um, uh, I can't even spell Tamaguchi. Okay, here we go. T A M A G O T C H I. Now, now it's it's looking up Yamaguchi. T T A M A G O T C H I. 
got it. All right, I'll go ahead and share so everybody else can see. So the Tamaguchi pets were really popular when I was a kid, and I never got one. Like my mom wouldn't get me one. Um, I don't even know what they are. Well, here's what they are. Hang on. They're little electronic They're, pets. Mm -hmm. You can like feed them and take them outside for walks. And yeah, you keep them alive. So yeah. you play with them and feed them, and they it's were basically bad. like, um, hang on, some, they said that I'm stuck on you. Give me one second. Let me. How I'm not presenting you, you. Okay. Yeah, so they're little pets. Okay, so how old are you guys? I think this must have been after my time. I'm 35. I'm oh. 33. Yeah, <laughs> and so they were popular when I was about what, 10, 12, I think? Well, I'll no, be 14, 15. Month, so. See, this is 96, so, and this one, so, yeah, it was when I was in middle school, then. I'm going to buy batteries for them and list them for about $30 each. Yeah, that, wow. I've never run across one at all. Yeah, I was, I, Allie was with me at the bins and I found one and I told her, you know, hey Allie, if you find another one of these, mommy wants it. And a little while later she comes up to me and she handed me the second one. I was like, yay, score. These must be knockoffs. It says 49 Tamaguchi pets from China. They must be knockoffs. Yeah. Yeah. They have the date on the back of them of 2004. So, and um. Yeah, I they they came out way before then though. Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. Those must I have been up, the re. Those must have been the re-releases. Yeah, I looked up the ones that were dated for 2004, and I looked up how many have sold and how many are currently listed, and they seem to be. Uh, they have a really good sell through rate. And, I'm thinking once I buy batteries, which it'll cost like what a couple dollars for batteries. I was just happy. It was a cute little thing. And it's so like, simple, oh. and it's like you know, gonna yeah. cost you you know two dollars and sixty cents to ship it. Right. <clears throat> Am I still presenting? No. Okay. Um. So. I know you're all prepared, Tanya. You have any really great sales this week? <laughs> well, I sold um, that pair of gold Vionic sandals. Okay, I'm um, going to sh share it for Tanya here. Bye. Thank you. I talked about it, I think, a few weeks ago, maybe even a month ago, but I picked them up for $6.99, and they sold for $49.99 plus $6.95 shipping. And I had best offer on there. They didn't even make an offer. They just paid for it, so... I love it when that happens. <laughs> right? So yeah. here they are. And I have sold this brand as well. Um, I had some that were not as nice as these. Mine were like plasticky kind of rubbery flip flops with the what you would consider like yoga mat insole, you know, type yeah. type thing. Man, you have a ton of feedback. <laughs> I've been doing it a long time. Holy crud. That's a lot of wow. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah, this that's a really nice pair. Yeah, they were like new. I like your little insert things. Where did you get those? Those don't look all hokey and silly like some like those foot ones, you know, the ones that look like a yeah. foot. Yeah. Don't like those at all. <laughs> yeah, they make the shoe look really not good. Yeah, this looks great. Those. Where did you get those? You know, I've had them for a really long time and I had some other people ask me and I tried to find them on Amazon, but I couldn't. I couldn't find any just like those. But I've had them for a really long time. Oh, so. under plastic shoe insert. Hey, look, I found some. Oh, good. <laughs> Is this the same thing you? <laughs> on Amazon or eBay? eBay. Hang on. Is this Maybe the same I, thing I you have? Where I got them? No, see, those are the same ones that I found on Amazon. Okay. I have little bitty like like little ridge type things on the back. Hmm. Okay. And the good thing about the ridge things, if you're you know, you have a sling a sling back, it's gonna 
it's going to catch the back of it for you and hold it up. Uh, you know, when you're trying to display it. Oh, that would look awful in a pair of shoes, wouldn't it? <laughs> Those little inflatable boots. <laughs> Hmm, I'm going to have to look into that because there's some shoes that I sell that um, could really benefit from these. Do you see, that looks nice. These are what you have. Yes, that's what that's what they are right there. Okay, they're ten ninety five plus two ninety nine shipping. I am totally going to get a pair. Yeah. That looks great. Yeah, they're nice. Okay, yeah, I'm totally getting a pair. I'll post the link to these over in the stew in case you want to buy some. Oh, um, look, I saw a pair of those Tom Wedges right there. <laughs> <laughs> I have sold those two before. They're pretty popular. Yeah, me too. Oh, that's funny. So um, were your shoes, was that your big sale of the week, um, um, Robin? Yeah. Uh, the ATLs and the the boots. Those oh, are my two ATLs. Awesome. And um, just so you guys know, April wanted to be here today, but she's still having technical issues with her internet at the college, so she wasn't able to join in today. So, um, I had some fairly decent cells. Let me see. <laughs> I've got a couple. I got a couple that were kind of pretty kind of home runs. Um, what's this one and this one. And I can talk about this one. Okay. Uh, the first one, let me screen share here. What's, oh darn it. Where did my screen go? Okay, so the first one was this Beth Moore um, Bible study set. I found this actually over in the um, like the office supply section. I guess they thought it was just a little binder. I don't think they actually opened it up and saw that there was 12 CDs inside. Right, I've sold that her stuff before too. Yeah, it's very expensive too. Um, those things will, are like 80, 90, 100 bucks. And um, this one I priced 59.95 because I was the only used seller and the two sellers that had them new um, had them priced at like 80, 80 and 90 dollars. So originally I was going to price it 49 and I decided no since I'm the only used seller I can price it up because they're still going to buy mine. Since yeah. it's cheaper. So this I paid four ninety nine for this for this set. Um and it sold within a week. Wow, that's great. Uh the next thing that I sold just sold today and it wasn't a huge sell, it was forty dollars. Um, but I only paid five ninety nine for it and I wanted to show this one just because these sell really well. The Cuisinart choppers, whether it's the three cup mini prep, which is what they're called, they'll say mini prep or the four cup um, all sell really well and you can actually sell the pieces to these things for very good money so if you find them used for you know four or five dollars you can sell this top part for like fourteen ninety five you can sell the work bowl for fourteen ninety five you can sell the chopping blade for fourteen ninety five so you can basically sell just those three pieces for the same price as a whole unit new. Um, but this one I decided to go ahead and not part out since it was new but the box was just all messed up. And uh, it was $5.99. It just sold this morning on best offer for $34.95 plus shipping. And it's actually going to Houston so it's not going to cost me that much to ship it. Yeah. And then my big home run was the Black & Decker uh, toaster. Uh, yeah. Under counter twist. Yeah, it sold for one twenty nine ninety five plus fifty eight dollars in shipping to Canada. Wow! And um, I actually got an extra fifteen dollars because of my discount. The priority discount was fourteen something on the shipping. 
And uh, I paid seven ninety nine for this at Savers. Wow, that's a good deal. Yeah. yeah. Fortunately, I was really disappointed be at first because I thought this was recalled. And if you remember, if you watched my haul video, um, I couldn't find it on Amazon, and I couldn't figure out why. And then when I Googled it, it came up with a recall. And I was like, oh, no, it's recalled. Yeah. Then I came to find out that my unit was actually the one that they made and modified because of the recall. Oh. And Yeah, so the one that was recalled had an open button. And the open button, when you pressed it, it could pop the food out and if the food was too hot and was like had caught on fire, it would catch your cabinets on fire. Wow! Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah. So um, mine was actually the the new improved one that wouldn't you know catch your cabinets on fire. So I was super excited. Right. That's and, good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I got it listed and it sold um, in three days. It took three days. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, that was my big sale of the week. Oh, so that's, <laughs> that's good money. I didn't even look it up. Like anytime I see space space saver stuff, I just throw it in the cart. Just yeah. goes in the cart. So I will too from now on. Yeah, don't ever pass by a space maker item. Like space savers. Um, yeah, they they well space maker. Um, the Black and Decker space maker stuff sells for really good money. The the can openers are like outrageously overpriced as far as like can openers are, are concerned. So they don't make that anymore? This particular unit they don't and a lot of the different ones they don't. Some of them they do um, but like the coffee makers, the space maker coffee makers sell really well, the can openers, the toaster ovens, um, they do really well. On uh, Amazon for Space Maker, let me see. If you look, let me share here. The coffee makers, look, they're like eighty-five, a hundred bucks for those hundred dollars. Used, it's at sixty-eight bucks. Those um, are really cool. I you like have the to, idea of having that extra counter space. Mm -hmm. You have to be really careful um, with some of the space maker stuff because a lot of it has gotten recalled. I know um, some of the things that I have bought. See this coffee maker, $125 used. Yeah. $187 new. Um, you always have to check on space makers if there's a recall. I've run into recalls. Um, on three different occasions and uh, generally they will it's something that they'll send you a piece for um, I had a coffee maker that the carafe had been recalled and this is like recalls from 10 years ago you know yeah and the carafe had been recalled and basically they sent me a box they sent me bubble wrap they sent me tissue paper they sent me strips of tape and a label and told me to send it back to them and then they sent me a new craft. Yeah. I remember you talking about that. Yeah. So um, Joni's asking if an if an item has been recalled, can you still sell the parts? Yes. Generally, um, it was recalled for a specific reason. So um, the co one of the coffee makers that I had that had a like a total recall where it just wasn't something that you could sell. Um, I sold like the water reservoir. I sold the little filter holder. I sold you know so you can still take the pieces off of it. That's good. Yeah. So um, I know you ordered your stuff, Tanya, but you had a mix up and you weren't able oh. to use your full. Money. I was so mad. I was so excited. I was shopping and I went to go buy that second thing and I put the code in. I was like, you've already used this code too many yeah. times or something like that. Did you but, use yours yet, Robin? I bought uh, poly bags. Yeah, that's what I used mine on. Yeah. I, don't, I don't need boxes. So, um, yeah. Did you end up having to pay out of pocket or did you just buy one set of boxes and I don't think I paid out of pocket. <laughs> it 
it said zero balance <laughs> when I um, went to go check out. Yeah, mine did too. I had since I have a premium store, mine was um, fifty dollars. Nice. So I bought two hundred of those twelve by fifteen bags because I generally cut my bags down anyway where I'll take a whole bag and then I'll put it in the food sealer and it becomes basically two bags. Yeah. So I bought the big like 12 by 15s so that way I could cut them in half and it'll really become 400 bags um, which I shouldn't need bags for a long time. But I guess one part will, will be unbranded then it'll just be white and then the other part will have the eBay on it. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a piece of tape on it. Like I'll put I had tape from, I bought it when they first released it. Um, I was like, oh, I want some of that. You know so, what? I did too. Yeah. I bought it, and now I got some, some more free that's on the way. They, they were sold out. I was going to get some, but they were sold out, so I it's decided. I yeah. like it, because I've always had, I had a um, tape. Let me see if I got it. Yeah. A long time ago, I bought this tape that said, thank you for your order. Oh, yeah. Did you ever use the priority mail tape? Yeah, back when I could get it, and but I only got a couple rolls. I got two rolls from the post office, and then the lady said she got in trouble for giving them to me. Yeah, I had somebody um, inside giving me some too, but yeah, they yeah. ran out. But that eBay tape reminds me of that priority mail tape. It's really good quality. Yeah, you know, I uh, make sure, you have to make sure with that tape, and it's the same as that thank you for your order tape. Uh, you need to make sure that you get it really attached to your box because it will pop back up. So yeah. what I use is those little plastic razor blades that I use to get my stickers off. Mm -hmm. And I take it and I run it across the tape. Zoop, 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 zoop. And then it just kind of really sticks it on there. Yeah, that's a good idea. So Robin, do you have any big events going on or anything you got? Anything you want to talk about? Not, not in the next week. Um, my mom's coming to visit um, on my birthday, which is mm -hmm. the third of next month for a week, I think. So I'm excited about that. That'll be fun. Is this her first time coming to visit you guys since she moved to? Yeah. Away from that's cool. Yeah, that's where we, we went and saw her um, during Christmas. And um, so I guess what it's going to be six months since I've seen her. Um, it's going to be the first time she's visited us in South Carolina since we moved to South Carolina, and we've been here for what a year and a half now. Has it been that long? It's been a good while. I know yeah. it's been a year. Oh. <laughs> In the chat, they said that the eBay tape smells. <laughs> no, it doesn't smell like anything. Nope. It's not smelly. <laughs> uh, Robin, they're saying that your makeup and your hair looks amazing. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I saw your picture you posted the other day, the, yesterday, and I was like, oh my gosh, you look so great. Like, yeah, yeah, very pretty. You've been, you've been getting it on, which you been trying to step up the game a little bit. <laughs> it makes you feel better. I like I like doing that. We have the show every week because it makes me put makeup on. Yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> and like generally, when I'm in hangouts with people, I like I don't have any makeup on. I'm all red because I have rosacea, so I'm all red and like, <laughs> I've got like no mascara on, and I look all like I just woke up. So the sh the show makes me. This show makes me put makeup on and feel better about <laughs> myself. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah, I'm just now learning how to do makeup for the first time, really, in my life. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> watch some you. YouTube videos. I love watching makeup tutorials. <laughs> me too. <laughs> yeah, it's been fun. It makes you feel better. It really does. Play with yeah. when I'm not working. Mm -hmm. 
I was trying to think. There was something that I learned this week, and then I can't remember what it was now. I need to write those dang things down. <laughs> what was it? It was something. I can't remember. Um, so we can go ahead and get into our topic, and it, it kind of actually goes back to you first, Robin, because um, you have visitors coming. So... Um, and plus, I know your daughter, she's 10, so she's going to be out of school coming up, too. How do yeah. you plan to deal with, um, you know, your business whenever your mom comes for a week and your daughter's out of school? And Well, my mom is actually the one who started me thrifting. <laughs> so I've been thrifting with her ever since I was knee-high. So she and I are most definitely going to be going at yard selling and thrift shopping while she's here, um, just because it's something that we both enjoy for fun. So that'll fit in some work. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be fun. Yeah. Um, I wish my, my mom would, like, do stuff like that with me. My dad does. My dad loves to thrift. Like, yeah. I, my dad was a dumpster diver. You know, he's gone to auctions and storage auctions, and he was doing that long. I mean, he was doing that in the 80s. Yeah. He's that guy that stops on the side of the highway when something's flown off of somebody's truck. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, I remember when I was a kid, like, my drawing paper was from a dumpster. Um, it was that paper that went in those machines that had those, like, um, they had the holes on the side, you know, that fed the paper that yeah. you had to rip off the side. That was my drawing paper when I was a kid. I had a stack of it that was probably three feet tall <laughs> and he had got out of a dumpster. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. We had so, a family friend who was that way. He always was showing up with something out of the ordinary to <laughs> show that he found in the dumpster that week. <laughs> that was fun. Entertaining. Right. Um, what about with your with your kiddos? Like, what are you gonna do with Allie? That you know, does she? How does your how do your summers normally go with your business? Is it? Well, this is really only my second summer, so um, we we do things throughout the week, go to the park, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But Zuri is still young enough where she naps. So I have a quiet time in the middle of the day for like three hours um, to where there's no TV, there's nothing. And so I'm thinking I might be able to get listing done during quiet time. Um, and Allie also enjoys going thrifting and stuff like that too. Um, one of her favorite things to do right now is to go to the Goodwill Outlet because she has all these kids there that she's friends with and so she just hangs out with her friends while mommy does her thing. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm going to have to chill a little bit when it comes to work and make sure that I am, um, you know, get out of the house and do something other than work all summer long. <laughs> That's going to be an adjustment because I'm used to just working all the time and it's like, okay, you need to really just put your stuff down and go spend some time with the kiddos. So that's going to be um, a conscious thing that I'm going to have to make sure that I do on a regular because um, it's not something that I normally would do but it, and fit um, work into nap and quiet time. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, I had talked to you about it before privately that I had asked my daughter to make me a list of what because she's always talking about mom you're the best mommy ever and you're you know and I'm like okay um what does that mean to you you know and what would you like to see happen you know like make me a list of the things that are important to you like what do you want and so she put on her list she wanted Friday game night to come back because we used to do game night on Fridays where we play board games. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, we can do that. And she goes, and I would like to um, go, you know, uh, do more things outdoors with you, you know. And so she had her little list, and that was, you know, she's eight, you know. And yeah. it, those were the things that were important to her. So, you know, 
because we can do all kinds of things that we think are important, you know, yeah. that, um, because I think that was a problem that my mom had for a long time where she would try to do these events and do these things that her, my little sister and brother who, you know, are 20 and 24 now, but when they were in their teens, they had no interest at all going to go do those things, you know, and then she'd be all disappointed because nobody wanted to do the thing that she had spent all this time planning, you know. Yeah. So I think it's a good idea to, you know, ask them, you know, what, what do you want to see? What do you want me to do, you know, for you? Right. You know, that makes you feel special. Yeah. What about you, Tanya? You have school age children. How do your summers go? Well, I have decided this summer I am going to be getting up early. Like, you know, I'd like to try and get up like around six or seven in the morning and just try and get some work done for a couple hours before they even wake up. That's a good idea. Yeah. So Yeah. Something that I that we do during school, just continue it through the summer. <laughs> right. It's do you idea. do you um are your kids fairly self managed or are they like up your butt? Well, my son, he's thirteen, so he's never home. He's like always gone with his friends. Yeah. And um Madeline, she's eight and uh she just doesn't really care to thrift. I mean when we when I have to take her with me um, she's still into running off and hiding from me. She thinks that's hilarious, and it, you know, it's just it's just nerve wracking for me because I can't be scanning books and like wondering where she's at. Right? But, um, you need to get her a little one of those little monkeys you put on her back, and you can just like <laughs> clip it, <laughs> clip it to the cart, <laughs> or tether the phone to the cart so she can't go further <laughs> than the cart if she wants to look at it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she's not that way every time, but sometimes she's just a stinker, you know, a little stinker. <laughs> so your plan is just to wake up earlier. And do yeah. they have earlier bedtimes or do they cuz I know my daughter during the summer stays up way late. Yeah, they do. And so they'll be sleeping in probably a lot. Like my son, if I don't wake him up, he'll sleep till noon. <laughs> I think that's every teenager. <laughs> right? So um yeah, my kids will sleep late during the summer. Yeah, I have, um, my twins are coming from Virginia, and they're going to be here for three weeks, and so I've been trying to um, figure out, you know, okay, how am I going to manage my business as far as listing and things like that whenever I need to be mindful of, you know, that I have people here that need to be entertained, you know, yeah. like, and, uh, because they're 14, and it's not like, I can just let them loose, like my 17-year-old, you know, she's gone. She's gone with her friends, and she's just gone, <laughs> you know, um, or if she's, you know, or she's on her phone, you know, on Snapchat. Um, so I've been trying to figure out, like, okay, well, how am I going to do this where, because the, it's going to be expensive for them to come, you know, ticket-wise, and then it's going to be expensive because there's events and there's things that they want to go to, um, and food and all these other things that I'm trying to figure out, okay, I have to maintain my business because I need the money to pay for this, and so how do I, you know, so it's probably going to be one of those things that I'm going to have to be like you, where I'm going to have to really try to focus my time in the morning, yeah. Um, which is really hard for me because I'm used to kind of doing nothing in the morning, you know, <laughs> where I'm sitting in here scrolling Facebook, you know, and then uh, actually get work done in the afternoon and then at night. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to try it that way. I have no other option. That's the thing. I have no other option. Right. Um, so, I wanted to look at something. Oh, this is something I learned this week. Okay, so I did an experiment. This is kind of off topic, but this is my thing. <laughs> I did an experiment because I had these knives, and they weren't selling, um, but they're a really good brand, and they should have sold. They didn't because they're kind of dry. You know, it's like somebody put them in the dishwasher. And so I took coconut oil and I put it on this one and it didn't really do anything. And then I took, uh, this one was olive oil, I believe, went on this one. 
Oh, and that it would made make it a lot better. Yeah. And then I took Murphy's oil soap multi-use wood cleaner and I put it on this one. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I learned that you can recover those ugly looking knife handles. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to restore them and then take new pictures of them and I bet you they sell. That's a great idea. Yeah, so that was what I learned this week. That was just a little experiment I was doing. Yeah. I figured it wouldn't hurt. Um, can we have a chat? Can you talk a little about what you guys do if you went away for four or five days? Um, Robin, what would you do with your store if you went away for a week? I would put it on um, put it on vacation. Um, I'd put it on vacation during the weekdays, and then have it come off of vacation on Friday. <laughs> So that if I was coming back, you know, like Monday or something, a vacation yeah. would settings would disappear um, during the weekend. So, what about you, Tanya? Yeah, I'd do the same. I'd put it on vacation. I don't want to have to deal with that. You know. Do you hide your Do you hide your listings or do you leave them active? Active. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. I would just put it on vacation. So how does that work? Uh, when you can put your store on vacation and you can hide your listings where people can't actually buy anything. Okay. Um, when I took my little like internal in my house mental vacation, um, I put my store on vacation mode. I left my listings active. I and I changed my handling time to five days. So it was on vacation from Monday to Friday. And essentially, I could have gone in every day and changed the handling time down, you know, from 5 to 4 to 3 to 2 to 1. Uh, somebody mentioned in the chat, if you're not concerned about top-rated seller, your vacation mode doesn't have anything to do with your top-rated seller. Um, as long as you uh, fulfill your items in the time that you have stated as your handling time, you can be top rated seller. It doesn't have anything to do with fulfilling it within one day. If your items are not fulfilled within one day, then you don't get the discount, the 20%, on that particular item. Not on your invoice as a whole, but just on that one particular item that doesn't have the one day handling time. So anything that you sell on your vacation, if you have a handling time over one day, but you fulfilled it within your handling time, it's not going to affect your top rated seller at all. It's only just going to mean that on those things that you sold during that time you were on vacation, you're not going to get your 20% discount on your final value piece. Right. Um, if you don't have a store and you put your item on vacation, um, then what, I mean, you can't put your items on vacation because you don't have a store. What I've always suggested to people, uh, that don't want to end their listings because they're only going to be gone, you know, four or five days, uh, is to bulk increase your price by a hundred or two hundred dollars. Nobody's going to buy your item, you know, yeah. and if they do, well, woohoo! You know? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, so go ahead and bulk increase your price, you know, by a hundred and two hundred bucks or whatever. And then don't worry about it because you're not going to sell anything. Um, they were saying that in Australia you only have a three-day max for your handling yeah. time. That's interesting. Yeah, I know different countries have different rules. So um, I don't know Australia's rules. But um, what you can do is <clears throat> if you're going to be gone and you put your store on vacation on a Monday, a three-day handling time would be, uh, if they bought it on Tuesday, then it would be to Wednesday to Thursday to Friday, and you would need to ship out Monday? Because if it was three-day, three business day handling, Tuesday to Wednesday, Wednesday to Thursday, Thursday to Friday. Thir Friday would be the third business day. I guess it would need to go on Friday. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry, Robert, about your three-day maximum. 
But you could always do like I just suggested as well. If you can't put your store on vacation, just increase your prices and nobody will buy it. And then just reduce them back down whenever you get back. Uh, anything else anybody wants to touch on? How's everybody, everybody liking this new time instead of 11? I like it. I get to thrift longer in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Robin? I can be here. I know. Well, we kind of moved it for you. <laughs> I'm liking it. I think it works out fine. I'm going to leave here and go meet up with a lady to sell this t little tablet, cheap tablet thing I have. And I coincidentally told her I would meet her in the parking lot of the Goodwill. Oh, hey. <laughs> uh, uh, the next little suburb over. And, you know, since I'm going to be there, I you might as well. Go in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. it would be a crime. I actually haven't been to that store in quite a while. Um, I was thinking, I had talked to Tanya about this, I was thinking of doing a video series um, where I did ride-alongs for every Goodwill in Austin. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. I'd love to see that. I love yeah. ride-alongs. I thought that would be fun, but I really need to get a better camera set up. I need to try to get like a GoPro or something um, because holding your phone, it just, it's so shaky and I can't watch ride-alongs, it makes me nauseated. I couldn't watch my own ride-along, it made me nauseated um, with the like movement and it's herky-jerky, you know, <laughs> whatever. I gotta find a good way to do ride-alongs without it being so nauseating. It gives me motion sickness. Uh -huh. um, if anybody in the chat has any last-minute questions, go ahead and put them there because we're going to be wrapping up here in a minute. Um, but yeah, so I think that's something I'm going to try to do at some point. Um, yeah, you should. I think it'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Gives me an excuse to go shopping. <laughs> yes. Any excuse, right? Right. I can't wait to go thrifting with Chad and Kim, though. I think that's going to be a blast. So do you have it mapped out, like, where all you're going to take them? I was thinking of going to... Um, like Texas, I wanted to go to places that were more like local, like Texas franchise kind of things, like Texas thrift store, which I, you know, I know is in Dallas and San Antonio and here, and um, but Texas thrift store, and then um, go to uh, the really main, the main Salvation Army that we have. It's the main one. And then uh, go over to Thriftland, which is my, that's my plush store that I like to go to. But they have a ton of t-shirts and stuff there. So um, I thought Chad might like to look. And they also generally have a fairly nice audio department, like electronics. Oh, I wonder how come we've never been to any of those thrift stores when we were there. Like Thriftland and Texas Thrift. Like I see, uh, what's his name? Oh, what's that guy's name that does the videos? Paul Cantu. He's always mm -hmm. going in there, and yeah. you know they're great. Um, and then um, go to um, and then after going to Thriftland, I want to go to Thrift Town, which is right down the street, and they have a really nice audio department as well with electronics. And then from there, go to. Um, a couple of the Goodwills that are now, in that particular area. So it's going to be mainly in South Austin. I'm getting out of North Austin. Okay, that's what I was going to ask. So the Texas Thrift and um, what else did you say? Thrift Tex Land. Texas Thrift is central. It's right off of oh, 35. Okay. It's off so of 35. Of North Austin. The Texas Thrift is considered North Austin. Okay, um, is that bona fide uh, honey hole? Because he's never taken us there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It it's got a lot list. of clothes and shoes. It's got one of it has the most shoes of any store I think I've ever seen. Do they have books and, and all kinds of They uh, have books and they're fairly inexpensive because um I think you get them like three for a dollar or um you know, something like that. Ninety nine cents for the hardbacks and Okay, and what was that one called again? I'm sorry, it's called Texas Texas Thrift Store. Okay, I'm going to write that down. That's one I like going there. It's it's hit or miss sometimes, but I have okay. found some really great stuff there. Okay, cool. Um, and then Thriftland, um, 
and then Texas Thrift Store. Texas, I mean, Texas uh, yeah. Thrift Town. Thrift Town is where my dad found that coffee bean roaster. It was $30, but I sold it for 350 So that was awesome. Yeah, but yeah so we're going to... We're gonna do that kind of stuff. Um, it should be fun. Uh, I think it, um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, Amy asks, "Are you still doing the plush sales video?" Yes, and I need to do an update video um, on those because I actually have sold quite a few of them. I think I'm in the two hundred fifty dollar range on the plush that I bought. That I did the video. What's in the bag on it? Oh wow, so. that's how much you've made off those. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'd yeah. like to see that. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and update that, and then I need to go back over there and buy some more. <laughs> so. All right, well, I guess we're going to go ahead and close out the day, but I hope everybody has a really fantastic week and finds all kinds of great treasures. And Make sure to join the Reseller Stew Facebook page so you can stay up to date on when we do shows and Tanya puts her videos and Robin <laughs> does and... April does, and so. All right. Anything else, you guys? Can't think of anything. All right. Well, everybody have a really great day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.